Radio Televisieren. This is RTE1. I've been here for weeks to hunt her, and what have I found? Nothing. This is a copy of Mrs. Davidson's entire plastics unit file. Everyone must have made it and hidden it away. This woman should never have had surgery. What if Dom's charging top dollar to do cosmetic procedures on patients that other clinics wouldn't touch? This is enough for Dom to want her out of the picture. I know you've had some tricky cases. Tricky. <laughs> for anyone else, that'd have been next to impossible. And from what I've been hearing, Mrs. Davidson's just one of the many. The damsel was only. It's Dr. DeBray spilling his guts. It's over, Dom. You're busted. you could do. Limited resources, man. The photocopier's cactus. Well, hand them out for us, sweetie. No, you won't get a lot of takers here. These guys just want a quiet drink, not a full board dance party, okay? Oh, well, I bet I could turn their heads around. Tama, you talked to the wholesaler yet? He's got some problem with his drivers and we could do our own pickups. Yeah, I'll get on to it. Hey, um, can we put the party back a few days because I ain't got time to deal with it? Oh, well, just leave it to us. We can handle it. Yeah, sounds already covered. We've got all those bubbles. We can do all the PR, sell the tickets. Tonight would be to... good. Let's sit back and take the credit. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Hmm. Where to Corp know everything? This Mrs. Davidson with her heart problem. We have to listen to this. This man is obviously drunk. Turn it off. He wasn't that drunk. He knew those patients were dodgy and he operated because he was getting paid big bucks by this one. That is total fantasy. You have no idea what you're talking about. He could have killed those people and I bet they went the first. Enough. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Now you'll be wanting to get home. I'll hold on to that if you don't mind. Even with the best face on it, this is total gossip mongering. Reputations are at stake here, Andrew. This hospital's in particular. I'm aware of that. Then you're going to have to let her go. I'll get back to you. Good night. Warner. Andrew Solomon here. Have I caught you at a bad time? Fun never stops. I've just had my PA in here with some very worrying accusations about the plastics unit. Falsified histories for patients whose health issues should have precluded surgery. Gina. Um, that's very interesting. This was an issue a while ago, but Lucy Swinton assured me it would never happen again. What do you know about Johan de Vries? Uh, reasonable surgeon, but he's in it for money, not love of the game. Would he tell me the truth if I asked him? <laughs> if he felt his income was in jeopardy, he would rat on his own mother. Interesting. Well, I'll let you get back to it. Thanks, Chris. Andrew, mind how you go with Dom. He's devious. No, I'll keep that in mind. I heard some of what you said to Craig Valentine yesterday. Oh, God, I hope I don't say too much. No, it's fine. And you're right, I am really stressed at the moment. Well, the house will be a bit quieter next week, if that helps. Judy's freed me up to go to Fiji and help Chris out. Wow, that's so cool. Are you going to take Harry with you? Well, my friend Don is begging to have him for a while. She's in Sydney, so I'll go there first. She's his godmother. He'll be fine with her. Are you going to let your dad? Well, help yourself. <laughs> I should probably hit the box. I'll stop it. You're a showing. Are you worried about your part ones? You shouldn't be. Well, from what I've seen in ED, you shouldn't have too much trouble. Well, it's all fine in practice, but just when you're facing a medical examining board. <laughs> oh, look, it's weeks away. As long as you spend your time down south studying instead of running around after your father. Well, Claire is going to look after that. She won't let me lift a finger. <laughs> there you go, then. Head down, bum up. Next thing you know, you're a consultant. <laughs> Sorry we're both abandoning you as soon as you move in. You'll be all right? Oh, it's probably a blessing. I can deal with my disaster of a life in private. What disaster? A few speed bumps, maybe. Look, here's what you do. Nag Daniel until he hangs out with you just to shut you up. 
Once he gets to know you again, he'll love you. From there, it's a small step to parental bliss. You make it sound so simple. Mm, no, it's not. But it's worth every painful second. Some girl detective I am. He listened to the whole recording and just said thanks. Thanks and push off. Andrew's no fool though, Bernie. Yeah? Well, why was Dom still in there when I was out in the cold? Couldn't guess what happened next. He made some excuse and his gym buddy lapped it up and they sat there tossing back the scotch together. No, but you had evidence. He can't just sweep it under the carpet. Can't he? You did get copies of everything, didn't you? Do I look stupid? i better get upstairs. Keep the faith. Morning, Auntie. Oh, morning, Ma. Mm. Hey, how's the moving going? Oh, lost in a sea of packing cases, but, you know, I'll get there. Hey, if you need a hand, I'll put on your mic. Oh, thank you, Shannon. I know you're busy. Yeah. OK, babe. See oh. you. Mm. 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 <clears throat> um, Wards or ED? ED. And, um... I'd smarten myself up if I was you. Hey. Eh? With Shannon. She deserves better than you've given her so far. Whoa, well, um, where's this coming from? We're not in your backyard now. You want a bet? Move it. You're late. That's funny, the dogs say in. Free bubbly. This isn't going so well. Yeah, lots of competition around too. We've sold five tickets. We're going to tank. Yeah, well, maybe mums with prams aren't exactly the crowd we're looking for. I'll bet they are. Watch this. You guys want a party? Sure thing, hot stuff. How much? Tickets are $12 each, and you get a comp from me. What? It's a dance party, you jerks! <laughs> Did you see that? They thought... Oh, shut up! The, the timing sucks. We'll be short stuff without Shannon. Yeah, but I haven't seen Barb for weeks. Just a few days. Oh, to catch up on your love life, come on! Well, I want to do something special for her when she gets back. Well, she'll be missing Delphi. Meanwhile, this place goes under while I'm at the dogs, man. Hello, I'm still here. You're not for long. I've given you a week's notice. Isn't that enough? No, you're not the problem, OK? The problem is you trying to do too much. Jim deserves a break, doesn't he? Yeah, I suppose, but... And it's only for a few days. No, you go for it, Jim. Thanks, Shannon. Listen, do you mind not doing that? Oh, what? Well, they're stepping on your bossy little toes. Come on, let the man have a life. Hey. Oh. Yeah, no. One of these, please? Tomorrow night's gonna go off. You got me behind the decks. Some of the hottest DJs coming in for guest appearances. And how much are they gonna cost? Nothing. They're doing out of friendship, bro. It's 4.50. Cheers, Bob. Later. And he's right. That party is so gonna go off. Why? Because your boy's behind the mic. Come on. Tana, what is your problem? You've put Jim through the hoops already for absolutely no reason. And now you're styling out Vinny when he's only trying to do you a favour. Oh, yeah, he's really good at those, eh? Thomas, stop it. Okay, I'm with Vinny and I'm happy. And yours, Talia, so I suppose that you're happy too. Can, can we just get over it? And I was like, why are you here? Why aren't you at home packing? Because I've got work to do. Yeah, so is Tahana. But you didn't think about that, did you? Oh, no, I bet that she's at home packing up that whole house all by herself. <laughs> Mr Jenkins... Rhinoplasty. One of the Australian contingent. Vetted in Sydney, then? Yeah. Any way of knowing whether his uh, medical history is accurate? <sighs> Andrew, this is old news. Mr Jenkins came through with flying colours. He's perfectly happy, as are most of our clients. But not all. Hughes, Maisie, not one of your successes. No, I'll admit she had a few problems. She nearly died on the operating table. And in a way, that was a good thing. Chris and I found out about the scam that Medicorp were running and we put a stop to it. Oh. We took it to Lucy Swinton. A few heads rolled in Sydney, I can tell you. And now we do all our own pre-op testing. It cuts back the profit margin. Can't be helped. Now, Johan de Vries. I thought he should go. Chris insisted otherwise. I bowed to his decision. Maybe I should have a chat. 
organise that for me? Gladly.